Hi there, this is Vijay Kumar Vemula, Architect Citrix and Azure. Today we are going to discuss or look at how do we move resources between one resource group to the other resource group within Azure. Before we actually discuss and see how do we move resources across the resource groups, let us try to understand few general concepts or terms that which we should be aware which are related to these resource groups. Now the first terminology or the concept that what we are going to discuss is subscriptions. So in Azure we use subscriptions for billing which means when you deploy a resource you will be tagging your resource to a subscription. What it means is whatever the cost that which is which is incurred for that particular resource will be built to the subscription to which it is tagged. There can be multiple subscriptions within your Azure environment and that could be because you may have multiple departments or you may have multiple cost centers and you want to categorize the billing based on either department wise categorize, categorization based on uh, cost center or maybe the geographical location or the environment, maybe prod, dev and so on. Subscription can also be used to set up your role based access control, which means you can set up an L4 administrator or L4 administrator group, a certain level of permissions at your subscriptions level, which in turn will get cascaded to your resource groups and of course the resources which sits below them. Subscriptions can also be used to set up some policies. You can set, some, set up some policies which will restrict performing certain activities. For example, you may not want your admins deploying certain sizes of virtual machines. Or you may want, you may not want your resources or your admins to use certain regions. Or you may want to force your admins to use tagging. Now all these things you can set up and force your admins to comply to your organization requirements and that can be attained by setting up the policies and that can again be done at the subscription level which in turn gets cascaded to your resource groups and resources. So to recap a subscription you can use it for billing purpose and once you can have more than one subscription in one tenant and uh, <coughs> excuse me you can use administration uh, purpose in the sense you can use to control your access to the resources and of course the policies to set up the policies now let us discuss quickly about resources now what is a resource any entity that which you deploy within azure you call it as a resource. Any manageable entity or item you call it as resource. To quote an example, it can be a virtual machine or it can be a network interface card. It can be a load balancer or it can be your storage account. So these individual entities which you will be able to manage, we call it as resource in Azure. So when you create a resource, it does need a subscription as we had seen we discussed earlier what subscription is and of course it does need a name and region and of course a resource group. We are going to discuss what exactly a resource group in our next slide. Let us concentrate little bit on resource group. A resource group as the name says is a group of resources. You can call it as container. Or you can compare it with your folder where you can go and put related files and folders, right? So in resource group, you bring all those resources which belongs to a similar category and put them into a resource group. So to reiterate or to put it in a different way, a resource group holds resources belongs to a specific category and the categorization may be based on project maybe based on the department or maybe based on the geographical location. 
the other characteristics of a resource group is it shares the same life cycle what it means is you can deploy the entire resource resources within a resource group in a single shot or you can update the entire resource group by using ARM templates and the resource group also stores the metadata of the resources which means if a resource group has got let us say a virtual machine or a load balancer and you are seeing here in this picture it stores the information related to them like where exactly in which location they are sitting and so on and of course a resource group can have resources spanning across different geographical locations which means that if your resource group is in central India then you may have resources which are in a different geographical location other than your resource group's geographical location which means maybe in central US or east US and so on so it doesn't need or it is not mandated that you have to have your resources in the same region where your resource group is sitting now Coming to the point of discussion for this particular video, how do we move resources from one resource group to the other? Can we move them? Yes, we can. You can move resources from resource group A. Maybe you got certain number of VMs or some resources to a different resource group. Now, most of the times you do may do you may not want to do it, but take an example, you may want to rename a resource group which it won't allow the solution that what you have here is create a new resource group and move the resources in the existing resource group to the new one now will this have any impact on moving the resources from one resource group to the other yes it does the impact is the scripts or the policies that whatever you have in your source resource group will not be moved to your destination which means that you have to go and configure them again to work otherwise the source when you move from the source to the destination all those will be dropped at your source resource group and will not be moved to your destination let us quickly look at how do we actually move uh, resources move resources from one resource group to the other right so here you have two resource groups resource group a and resource group b what i am doing is i am moving those resources like virtual machines load balancers and other stuff to resource group b so let us look into that with an example right let me switch to my portal right here within this portal you see two resource group resource group a and resource group b now within resource group a you see certain resources there's a virtual machine related resources and what i am doing is i'll try to move this to a, my destination resource group which is resource group b now in order to move these resources all you need to do is click, select the list of resources that which you want to move and then you have here an option called as move the resources now when you click this there are two options you see whether you want to move these resources to another resource group or you want to move these resources to another subscription now for this demonstration we will go with the resource group because we are moving the resources from one resource group to the other so the moment you select the, uh, the option of moving the resources from one resource group to the other then it will ask you to select the list of resources that which you would like to move now here in this case by default it selects all the resources if you want to deselect few of them you can and what you see here is move the resources to so you here you will be selecting your destination resource group in our case it is resource group b now there is an acknowledgement which says that 
I understand the tools and the scripts associated with the moved resources will not work if I move them. Right, so we understand that we discuss, so I'm fine with that. I'll select this and then say OK. Now this will initiate the movement of the resources from your source resource group, resource group A, to your destination resource group, resource group B. Now you'll be able to see this here in the notification in a while, but what it is doing right now, it is still validating the resource group movement. Right, what you see now here is the validation is done and your resources are being moved, right? Moving the resources, what it says is moving six resources from resource group resource group A in the subscription so and so to the resource group B in the subscription so and so. Now in some time you will be able to see all these resources moved to your destination resource group, resource group B. We'll wait for that to complete. Okay, so after six minutes what I observed is my resources are moved from a resource group A to my destination resource group B. Right, it is very simple, straightforward. But however, we should be uh, aware that any policies or scripts which are associated with the source resource group will not be moved when you initiate the movement from one, when you initiate the resource movement from one resource group to the other. So in the destination resource group, you may have to go back and set those policies or scripts whatever you had in your source resource group. That's all I have for now. We'll contact in our next video. Take care. Bye-bye.